Hey, hey Cancer, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your April 2024 love reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you're new. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, Cancer, welcome. Now, you have here a lot of momentum, a lot of motivation showing up here. There is divine intervention taking place in order for you to move forward in matters of the heart and have maybe a new beginning that has been, I'm getting delayed, or perhaps you had to go through a lot because your challenge is the Page of Swords scrutiny. There could have been some sort of gossip or news that you found out. Yeah, that allowed you to... See something for what it was is kind of what I'm getting here. I also see the the name, and this is interesting because as I said, uh, as I see the name, they're actually showing it to me, uh, Robin. Robin. Now, I don't know if that's a Robin there, but I'm seeing the actual name spelled out, R-O-B-Y-N. Uh, for some of you, I mean, it, your name could be Robin, or maybe you see a Robin showing up in the month of April. That could be your sign that... Divine intervention is taking place and you've planted the seeds towards a new beginning. I'm also getting here for you, Cancer. <clears throat> now, this is interesting. <laughs> it's the song. I think it's by, is it Sir Mix-a-Lot? I like big butts and I cannot lie. Okay, that's never come through in a reading before. So maybe someone has a very vivacious booty or maybe you hear that song uh, on the radio or perhaps... Uh, someone sang that song to you. Again, please take it as it resonates. Okay, now you are moving forward. Subconsciously, you have the wheel spinning. There's been a little bit of a delay because some of you, you wanted to make sure that you got in all of the lessons or you had gone through all of the experiences you needed to go through in some sort of contract. Yeah, look at that repression with the devil some of you this was a karmic relationship for others of you i do feel that this could be toxic patterns this could be something within yourself it may have nothing to do with someone else here cancer but you're looking at some patterns or some traumas or whatever you had felt attached to or tethered to and you're freeing yourself from it here now, starting off, we have this motivation energy, good motivation coming in. This is, you know, hot cocoa steaming. This, this is warming of the heart. You can see the snow around it. So I feel like you are coming out of a situation where you're starting to thaw out. You're starting to open up here. And it makes sense with the devil showing up because some of you may have repressed some of your emotions, some of your thoughts or your beliefs, I feel like you've kept them stored. And you can see on this devil, I mean, doesn't he look a little creepy there? Uh, I feel like you've kept something hidden behind a rock. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you may have had a difficult choice to make. And as I say that, my throat chakra is activated here. So it's like you're speaking up, you're talking about something. You could be unblocking someone as well, or perhaps uh, in energetically you've blocked someone. Because I feel like you have the motivation here, <clears throat> excuse me, to speak up for what you want, ask for what you want. I'm also getting here, you are planting the seeds. You could be taking the first step, Cancer, in matters of the heart. Either you are telling someone enough is enough, I need to move in a new direction, or perhaps you understand a situation better than you have in the past because you've... You've done it long enough or you've repeated some sort of a cycle. And because we have that wheel showing up here with the devil, I feel like this was a pattern of karma or it was something you've played out numerous times. But you're being divinely guided at this time with the feather. <clears throat> this is about taking flight, moving towards, you know, a higher level of energy or a higher level of self-love. This is also about being divinely guided. And I do see here with your, <clears throat> excuse me, with your main energy showing up as the high priestess, it's kind of confirming here that your intuition is leading you towards a renewal, a renewal of the heart. I like this showing up, Cancer, because I feel like 
you're trusting your intuition more and more after maybe second guessing it for quite some time or feeling like you've lost touch with your own higher self. Some of you may have veered off the path. Maybe you got lost in a relationship or you kind of lost yourself in the madness or chaos of, of life at times, right? And I feel like you're coming home to you and within doing so, it's allowing you to plant some new seeds. This is the dandelion here. This is my wish flower. So I do feel like there's wishes here that are undiscovered or there's, it's almost as if some of the wishes that you may have even forgot about, or maybe you lost the belief that they would come true. I feel like they will. Okay, when it comes to matters of the heart, maybe it's, you know, getting married on the beach, maybe it's having that family, maybe it's, you know, strengthening some bonds within a family dynamic, maybe it's having children, whatever it may be for you, connecting, they're, they're telling me someone here had, there's been a cutoff, maybe it was with a family member, some of you may have cut off somebody because it wasn't healthy, <clears throat> or perhaps you've uh, planted some new some new seeds to call in your soul tribe. I mean, whatever your wishes are, I feel like you're gonna see them starting to take shape here. And April is a very significant month for you, Cancer. Bottom of the deck, you have moving forward, you have sweet surprise, and you have the pipe card. So yeah, jumping off some sort of a toxic or karmic cycle, there is gonna be a sweet surprise rewarding you because you've put in the work. It hasn't been easy is what I feel. You have the motivation to, to put in that energy and to raise your vibration. And you're gonna see that it's a lot maybe smoother than you thought it was going to be. Uh, maybe you had some nerves about having a conversation because the throat chakra is activated here, but it's actually going to go a lot better than you think is what I'm, I'm picking up on here. So starting off, you do have the high priestess cancer. Uh, the high priestess here is your energy. It's about truth. It's about you know, the divine feminine. I see here that you are really tuning into your inner wisdom, your gut feelings, and you're paying attention to uh, th any secrets that may be coming out during this eclipse season. You may be taking a look at maybe some secrets of your own dreams, of your own wishes. And even though you may not see them physically manifesting, I mean, some of you, you will see them sooner rather than later, but I am getting that just because it hasn't happened yet, it's like you have this renewed sense of faith. You have a renewed sense of, of hope and you're trusting in the unknowable, right? There's something that you are or you were meant to not necessarily see with the physical. You had to kind of trust it within first. And so your intuition is high at this time, Cancer. I feel like you are in the clear, like you have this clear knowing and you're kind of just taking a step back and you're allowing this energy to play out is what I see. And you have this motivation and that doesn't mean it has to be, you know, physical. It, it's an, a motivation of, I know now what I need to do, but you couldn't rush into it because it wouldn't have worked is what I see here. So I get towards the end of April. It's like you had to allow this period of thawing out, allowing a period of maybe healing or rest or recuperation. I also see some of you are healers, seers, psychics, or you could get a reading done in the month of April that is going to be very profound. Uh, you could watch maybe a a YouTube reader where some sort of piece just clicks and it's like that was the missing piece that you needed to kind of plant new seeds. And maybe that's that divine guidance, divine intervention. But I see some of you are going to increase your own spiritual gifts when it comes to matters of the heart. And it may be through some sort of a loss or being left out in the cold that you really discovered some of your own gifts on a deeper level. Now your challenge for the month of April is that challenging news or seeing something that maybe you didn't necessarily want to see. Maybe it was, you know, your ex going off and getting married, or it could be uh, that you saw someone having a great time on social media and you're wondering, well, where's my great time? So I feel like there's something that you are seeing here that you weren't able to see before, or there's some sort of message or news, uh, or again, a block. It's almost like I see a block in communication here. 
with this page of swords page of swords can be immature energy so some of you could be dealing with maybe someone who's younger maybe who is a little bit more immature even if they're you know older they may not know how to process emotions and feelings they may be immature in matters of the heart and i feel like this is a scrutiny really taking a close look at something but try not to overdo it is what i'm getting here i feel like Someone could be spying or gossiping and that's what you're wanting to move away from. Okay, this person could be talking about you, especially if you are highly intuitive. I feel like there's just some sort of, someone's keeping an eye on someone here. Yeah, now what's below you, Cancer? This is another page, okay? So we're seeing double page, page of swords, page of uh, cups, and this is about keeping yourself open to what's on the horizon. Right? This is in your deep past. So it's almost like there was a relationship you had with someone who may have been a little bit immature, but there was no substance. Because you can see that on the horizon there, she's looking at that ship. And the ship is white, right? It's not colorful. There's You can't see any people. It's almost as if she needs to use her imagination. Some of you may have fell in love with the idea of potential, but it's like there was no substance to it. It was the same thing. That's kind of what I get here for you. And now that you know better, you're doing better, right? Now that you know what you're looking for, or now that you know more about yourself, most importantly here, you're not ever going to allow yourself to be in a dynamic where there's no substance. And for those of you that are currently in a relationship, it's important to use your imagination to keep that spark growing, to keep evolving and to keep moving forward and chasing some dreams. I mean, the page of cups is keeping the heart open. And for some of you, you shut down, right? You shut down that, that heart because you were hurt because uh, maybe this was young love. Maybe you missed the signs. You were overly sensitive to a situation here, but I feel like you've learned. And that's why that wheel is spinning here. <clears throat> In the recent past, you do have the five of pentacles, perseverance. Some of you felt left out in the cold or someone that you were dealing with has felt left out in the cold uh, with this. There could have been health concerns, money concerns as well. You've had to persevere despite circumstances is what I pick up on here. Yeah, you can see things... It, you can see things more clearly now with this good motivation. And I feel like you're motivated to move out of the cold. And that's why you have the coffee card coming in to kind of warm up your soul. So some of you, you may meet a person who opens your heart back up, right? It's it's as if you, you've met this soulmate and this is someone who could kind of you come home to, you just feel at home because in your future position here, you do have the queen of pentacles, someone who supports you, someone who is honest, someone who is stable, someone who uh, wants to bring in and build stability with you. So I feel like you've, you've been left out or someone's felt left out, but the wheel is spinning here through divine guidance here and planting seeds of a new beginning, a new tomorrow is kind of what I get here. Every, everything goes through a season the seasons of change and i feel like we're coming uh you are coming here uh, as the collective is coming to a point of some big transformative changes in matters of the heart where you're not going to settle for less than you deserve and i i heard this the other day from a really wonderful reader as i was connecting with her and she said you don't want to you don't want to wrap up a, a bow of 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 a $10 uh, dollar store toy, or maybe a dollar store toy, uh, $1, right? And wrap it up in $40 wrapping paper. Because there's something within that doesn't have the substance. It doesn't have the quality of what it looks like on the outside, right? And so some of you, there is an energy here of something on the outside looking good. Maybe it's image. Maybe it's, uh, you know, on paper. Maybe this idea of a family dynamic. But it's almost like there's no substance. It's a dollar store toy wrapped up in 20 or $20 wrapping paper. And I feel like you're not going to, you see through the facade. You see through uh, the, the image. Okay, that's going to resonate for just a few of you. Now, what's coming in in the potential here is the six of swords. You're departing. You're moving on. You're moving on to calmer waters. Yeah, because 
Things were a little bit choppy for you in the past with the persevere. You had to persevere. Some of you, uh, and this is one of my favorite quotes from uh, Eat, Pray, Love. He says, if you want to get to the castle, you got to swim the moat. And I feel like some of you, you know, you, you're doing the work here by swimming the moat because you want your castle and you realize here that in the past, uh, you've put in the work to not get anything in, in return. It's like you were swimming the moat, but there was no opening to the castle because there was no substance, right? And you're departing from some sort of energy here that left you feeling less than. Okay, you may have also found out some sort of news that made you or someone else felt left out. And I feel like you're just, you're, it's like a goodbye, a send off here. Showing up in the near future, you have the Queen of Pentacles. This is support. Queen of Pentacles shows up. This could be a mother, it could be a sister, it could be you, someone who's very resourceful, very uh, homey, practical, down to earth. This is wifey material. I also get that you're going to be busy here, Cancer, in the near future, but you are supported and you're loved. You see that koala bear and that koala bear is, is hugging her tight and full of love, full of empathy, understanding, grace, humility. So I feel like you are supported and you have loved ones around you who care about you and who want to help see you thrive and grow. And you could even be this healer, this mother, or this nurturer, and you know what you deserve. So if some of you are, you know, kings and queens, but yet you're settling four pages, that's like that dollar store, you know, toy wrapped up in, in wrapping paper that's way too expensive for that dollar store toy. And I feel like you are realizing your worth. And maybe that was part of a lesson here. Okay. And that may be part of you moving forward. That's why we have repression, the devil energy showing up. You're freeing yourself from something that was a little bit toxic. Okay, it could be addictions, obsessions, fears, codependency, manipulation, materialism, whatever this devil represents for you. It could be a toxic person, a toxic cycle, or a pattern, something that kept you tethered and tied to it. And you can see all of these boulders and rocks surround the devil, but the devil still is peeking out. Right? If the devil wants to be in, in the grips, right, wants to kind of hang around, it's gonna until you free yourself from it. And that's what I see you working on here is reclaiming your power and freeing yourself by thawing out some sort of emotions or feelings of this five of pentacles because you've had to persevere. Some of you have been in fight or flight mode. Yeah, and that's why we have the feather saying, okay, uh, cancer, you've gone through a situation here. You've learned. We we hear your prayers. We know that you've exhausted your resources, or it feels like you've you've gone through, uh, you know, the pits of hell, right, with the devil. But I feel like you're being rewarded for your hard work because what's coming in here is another page. Wow, three pages showing up. This is the page of Pentacles, honesty. So the page that's missing is the page of wands. So I feel like it's very important for you to stay curious at this time. It's important for you to see an opportunity for the growth that it is, to plant new seeds to a, a better enriching future, Cancer. This is about getting honest with yourself. It is about manifesting new opportunities in the physical. So some of you, there's gonna be a message coming in here as well. I mean, this could be a message from maybe the, the devil, uh, the devil himself here. Uh, it could be a message <clears throat> that allows you to have a fresh start because look at that, you have the, it almost looks like Easter eggs there. Easter could be significant. Uh, this is about getting honest about where you're at versus where you wanna be. And that's why you have that devil showing up here because this is about putting one foot in front of the other and not being afraid to start over, not being afraid to plant some new seeds in matters of the heart. Yeah, I do get here with this page of pentacles as well, paying attention to uh, your, your money matters as well. Some of you, I feel like there could have been something around career even, uh, leaving a situation or you've met someone at work or because of some sort of loss, you you felt like you've struggled financially in some way, but you're getting real, real and raw and honest about the direction that you're in and your frequencies, your energy levels. 
Some of you, this support is going to come in the form of therapy. It's going to come in the form of maybe financial support or some help that allows you to get up out of a situation that is less than ideal. Now, what do we have showing up in the hopes and fears? Good old Empress, Mother Nature. Cancer, when she shows up here, this is about abundance. This is your hope. I mean, who doesn't want to have the energy of the Empress? She's abundant. She is a goddess. She's creative. She's sexy and maternal. She grows her garden that's quite plentiful, that she can share in that growth with others. And I feel like you are focusing on what you want to plant in that garden and maybe what you've already reaped the rewards from. And I feel that some of you, the fear is neglect. The fear could be abandonment. The fear could be mother wounds as well. It could be between mother and child. Some of you, three children, possibly, uh, because we have three page energy. So this definitely could be a dynamic between you and children. Maybe leaving a toxic situation, but you've been codependent because you have children. But I see here, some someone could struggle with fertility fertility issues. Maybe this negative news was, you know, a, a pregnancy that didn't come to fruition here and it's put a real strain on your, your pocketbook and your relationship. But with the Empress energy showing up here for you, Cancer, I feel like you are recognizing that there's growth and there's sunshine and there's abundance all around you. And for those of you that have felt like you were competing, right? Five of Wands energy. This is about releasing criticism releasing the the rivalry the conflict the obstacles and this is your outcome energy where you can work together instead of and look at that it, it's like there's two pages again showing up two young young lads flying kites here and those kites are looking at each other and they're face to face so i feel like there's a shift happening here where if there's been a lot of competition or if you've been maybe out in the dating world, but you haven't quite found someone, I feel like this, this is forward movement. For some of you that are in a relationship and you've been butting heads because it's almost like someone needs to get the last word or it feels like someone's criticizing you or maybe you're criticizing them, there's a need to work together here because there's no I in team. And I'm getting here that there's something along the lines of, joining forces coming together let's pull one more card here around the five of wands spirit tell me a little more about that five okay there it is right away that came in there's your new beginning okay yeah there needs to be an end to this rivalry so whatever you can do i mean there's healthy competition of course there's competing with uh, you know, the, the version of ourselves that we were yesterday versus today. But when we're in competition with others, when we look at other people's lives and say, well, they have that perfect relationship or they have children or they have this, it lowers our frequency, Cancer. And it can actually push away the very things that we want. And I feel like you're letting some sort of competitiveness within yourself be released or some sort of self-criticism, self-doubt even with this five of wands. And you're collaborating and working in harmony with the universe to have this new beginning. And the full card says it's here for you. You've planted the seeds already. So whatever this competition is, that's why you may not have seen or believed that these wishes were going to come to fruition. Okay. That, I mean, your final outcome clarified is the fool, right? So I definitely see that once some sort of conflict competition, or once you get over the hump, I also see some of you, you could be dealing with multiple people here, maybe uh, in-laws or exes, if children are involved, and maybe there's been some conflict in scheduling, conflict in uh, child payments, custody, things of that nature. I feel like there's going to be a new beginning here uh, when it comes to that dynamic, okay? Let's take a look and get a message from the wisdom of the oracle, and they're giving me the name here, Chelsea. Chelsea, that could be your name or someone that you know. 
We have card 20. 20 in tarot is the judgment. That is about forgiveness, right? It's about karma, letting go of regrets. It's about healing the wounds and it's about second chances. Basically a rite of passage should change your life for the better to imagine what else is possible. And that's what we have here with the page of cups, imagination. What does a relationship with substance look like or a life with substance instead of just surfacing, right? Instead of just going to work, doing the same thing, you feel like you don't have the energy or that passion or that drive and you're just kind of surfacing day to day, whether you're single or in a relationship. This is about dreaming big, right? What else is out there? What else is possible? And what may be holding me back from manifesting my truest of true dreams? Now this card is all about turning imagination into manifestation. It's about creative thought cancer, visualization, and the power of aligning Im imagery and feelings, right? Creativity and illusions. In matters of the heart, it's easy to daydream about another as a means of connecting to that person. While that's romantic, if you want this relationship to be real, you need to go for it, not just dream about it, right? There's that substance. What can we do to create more instead of just thinking about it, wishing it, or wanting someone else's life? Now is the time to move beyond the daydream and into reality beyond illusion and into fruition. That's that full energy. And that's why right now it's like you're kind of going back and forth. Fives can be about uncertainty. They can be about change. They can be about conflict. Some of you, you may be contemplating a move or some sort of travel as well. Relationships are about relating. I'm going to repeat that. Spirit is highlighting that in my mind's eye. Relationships are about relating. Okay, so that's important. Uh, so step out onto the dance floor where imagination partners with manifestation. So for example, if you are at a dance or if you're at, you know, a party and you really want to meet love and you're sitting on the couch watching everybody else dance, wishing that someone would come, you know, um, ask you to dance. What is wrong with you making that first move or getting out there on the dance floor and, you know, just doing what you do, loving who you are in your own skin. And you're going to, you're going to attract people instead of maybe sitting in that corner, hoping and wishing that you were out there. This is about you getting up and doing something about it here. And the message of this card is that a person with attributes you have imagined will enter your life. You'll be changed for the better. Imagine that. Beautiful. So I am going to read to you the protection message just because we didn't see the fool showing up quite yet, but it wouldn't surprise me if you meet this person by your birth month, by cancer season, if you are a, a sun sign cancer, but I feel like this could be, you know, blocking you a little bit here. Illusions and wishful thinking rooted in a sense of lack may have entered your life. Now may be the time to see things as they truly are, not as you hoped or imagined they would be. Okay, that's a message here because some of you were in love with the idea of, you know, having this situation on paper, right? Or it's, it's what you would romanticize. It could be a childhood dream that you've wanted for quite some time, but without substance, there's nothing to it, right? It, it's That's why there's that void. That's why there's that hole. Now may be the time to see things as they truly are and not as you hoped or imagined they would be. Release any fear. That's the devil. False evidence appearing real. And then envision a new. And that's what we've been talking about. Envision a new beginning. Plant new seeds. Move forward. You have the motivation. Divine intervention is taking place here, Cancer. Perhaps you are anticipating that something fearful might happen and recreating that image of disaster over and over in your mind. The universe responds to such projections, so be aware of this catastrophizing. No matter what illusions or awfulizing are a misuse of imagination. I mean, you can't make this up. It's showing up twice here, right? Are you misusing your imagination by letting the devil take over? I keep wanting to pick up this page of, this is getting honest with yourself, right? I keep wanting to pick up this page of, of pentacles here, but really I'm trying to go for this devil. So are we misusing the imagination? 
It says a vision anew. The universe responds to that catastrophizing. Clear the inner slate and stay grounded. That's what that queen of pence is here for. She helps you clear that inner state and stay grounded, stay real. Only then can you truly have what you desire. And that's that new beginning. That is that Phoenix, that full energy. So I'm liking this, but sometimes we all, we all go there sometimes, Cancer, where, you know, we let that devil come in and tell us lies, tell us things that aren't even true, but yet we start to go down the rabbit hole, we believe them, or external influences out of our control can come in and threaten to bring down the ship, right? You hear news or you see something that really spirals you or it triggers you. I feel like you are getting to a place where you're a lot more calm and patient with yourself than maybe you were in the past. Let's get a message here, please. Uh, okay, we just, wow, okay. I guess we needed more than one. We pulled the Imagine card and then yin energy. There's that feminine energy of receptivity coming in. So allowing things to come to you at this time, uh, focusing on the self, focusing on this yin energy is going to put you into that thaw mode, right? Good motivation. It's going to allow you to kind of take a little bit of a step back. And even though we talked about you getting out there on the dance floor, I feel like you're observing first. You're looking and seeing, okay, what kind of music is happening? What's my environment? Who's out there? Who's available? Uh, and you're kind of reassessing the situation, but then you're, you're taking action. You're putting yourself out there. So you're finding the balance between that yin and that yang energy, which is quite beautiful. All right, Cancer, let's tune into your third eye chakra. And at this time, I just ask if you can, we're going to get a message here from your crystal spirits. Close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath in from your solar plexus chakra, the belly area. Nice, big, deep breath in. And upon your exhale, tune into your third eye chakra, the area between your eyebrows and your forehead region. And I want you to imagine the first crystal or gemstone that shows up in your mind's eye. Now this could be a crystal that you're currently wearing. Maybe it's within your vision at this time. Maybe you can see it where you're sitting. Perhaps it's emanating as a specific color or shape or size. Maybe you're not even aware of what the name of this crystal is, but you feel the energy of love, of support, of groundedness of guidance. There is no right or wrong answer. And if you need a moment, just pause the video and come back when you're ready. And for those of you that would like to be entered into the free monthly reading giveaway, all you need to do is drop your crystal or gemstone, or if you had more than one, put that in the comment section below the video, and I personally will enter you into that giveaway where I draw one winner around the first of each month and post right back here on the channel. All right, you have another five here. You have Apache Tear. This is about letting go of grief. It's about recovering from the past and releasing pain so old wounds heal. It says, often our purpose starts to reveal itself in times of rejection as the universe whispers. You will see this through a different set of eyes one day, I promise. I'm going to stop you for, stop that for just a moment. We have the five of pence, rejection, persevering through rejection. And then there's the I, the scrutiny. Okay, so this makes sense here. You will see this through a different set of eyes one day, I promise. The universe is allying with you even now, eagerly supporting and opening you to the fulfillment and joy that you were born to feel, Cancer. When Apache Tear Spirit appears, it is calling you to recognize that losses and even betrayals come bearing unexpected gifts. They can break your heart open and send you on a mission to live more fully, more lovingly, more meaningfully. That is that energy here of substance, right? Definitely an energy of substance. Much goodness is coming your way. So 
Hold on and hold fast to the truth that you have a destiny unfolding before you. Recognize the universe as your ally in co-creating something so much better than what you are experiencing now. Clear space by releasing the past and washing away the old with your tears. You do not need to hold on to old emotions. Beautiful energy here. Now, Apache Tear... Apache tears are translucent, water smooth type of obsidian. They're really great for grounding energy as well. And this specific one can help while grieving, right? It can help us encourage and release painful emotions. And that's what we kept see, saying here with this repression. So if these are repressed emotions within you, maybe this is repressed emotions from childhood due to abandonment, due to rejection, whatever it may be for you, you are being guided here to release because once the grieving process feels complete, uh, then you can bury the stone in the earth, right? Allowing the emotions to be transmuted. So powerful energy with Apache tear. And last but not least, Cancer, let's get a message from the soul's truth and take a look at what your soul wants you to know at this time. These two shot out together, so we'll take both of them. You have, what am I most afraid of losing? As we grow, change, and transform our lives, it requires us to let go of something that was to make room for what will be. If you were to take the big leap today, there's that fool. If you were to take that big leap today, would you feel scared of losing love, safety, or belonging? What if it was a big fat lie? What if it was impossible to lose any of those things because you have the power, Cancer, to give everything you need to yourself right here, right now? Today's soul action, name that fear. I'm gonna hold it up here because it does look a little scary, right? I want you to look at that fear. What could be repressed within you? And I want you to look at it as a worst case scenario. Find a solution. Take your power back by being certain of who you are and where you're going. Today's mantra, I move forward. There's the wheel that literally says moving forward. I move forward knowing that I'm powerful beyond measure. I am loved, I am safe, and I belong. I want you to write that down below in the comments if you would like. I am loved, I am safe, and I belong. And say it out loud. And I want you to start to feel that energy shifting within you, Cancer. And lastly here, your final outcome, final message from spirit, your higher self. What if it was easy? It doesn't have to be hard. Call in the universe, the stars, the angels, and all their powers. Find the solution. Would you take the next step if it were easy? It's time to expect ease. Call in Greece. Call in Greece. Some of you, are you going to Greece? Call in grace and receive guidance. And you literally also have the word guidance. So look at these synchronicities. When you look for them, even when you don't look for them, they're still there. And spirit has your back here. It says you are supported. Today's soul action, list 10 possible ideals for your soul's current calling. Lean into ease. It's here. You just have to say yes to it. Say yes, Cancer, because there are far, far better things ahead than any you leave behind. That is what I have for you. I hope it resonates. If so, please hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell if you haven't already. And do drop your power power crystals in the comment section below. Thank you so much for tuning in. Lots of love.